June devotional, Elevate Christian Disability Trust. What does my love look like? Written by Kirsty Armitage. Read by Ella Kirby. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbour as yourself. Matthew twenty two, thirty seven to thirty nine, the NIV version. Disability Awareness Sunday happened recently in New Zealand, and our focus for this year was just love. When I look at the scripture in relation to disability awareness and inclusion, there are many thoughts that come to mind, but I wanted to share two of them. Firstly, there are no exceptions in the command to love your neighbour. There is no out. If I feel that it's too hard for me to love a certain person, we are commanded to love all our neighbours. To me, my neighbour is anyone who is next to me, anyone I do life alongside. It may be someone I only meet once, or it may be someone I see every day. My second thought is more of a question. What does loving my neighbour truly look like? We know the definition from 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7 the NIV version. For many people with disabilities in their families, there is still the potential for someone to act with this in mind and the action not be loving. What do I mean by that? Well, what I think is an act of kindness might not be received as that. I might think getting someone a drink without asking them is kind, but if I haven't asked them, there may be a risk of them not wanting a drink or me getting the wrong type of drink. I might think that praying for someone to be healed is kind, but it may come across as saying there is something wrong with that person. Should we not do these things in case we offend or get it wrong? No, but let's first take time to ask. Offer to get someone a drink. Ask someone what they would like prayer for and ask if you can pray for them. The more we get to know someone, the more likely we are to know what would be loving to them. I think it's better to be acting out of love and making some mistakes than keeping to ourselves and not shining the light that is in us because of Christ Jesus. A prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you first loved us. Help me to see how I can love my neighbour more, especially my neighbours who may seem different from me. Amen.